Okay, again we are back into the session. Earlier we talked about potential energy and we understood how to find the potential energy in the system. And along with the potential energy, it is necessary for us to understand what is the potential at a point and potential energy due to a system, a system of charges. So, first of all, let us define what is this potential, what is the, how can we define this potential, how can we uh, make an expression for this potential. So, already we understood what is potential energy, from there we will uh, just drag some information for what is necessary for this potential. So, potential is uh, potential energy per unit charge. So, potential is the potential energy per unit charge. So, we will define like this. So, simply definition is potential is potential energy per unit charge and the expression is potential is the potential energy u divided by some charge q naught we have taken it here as the q naught so u by q naught is your potential and to, just to give the units u will be in joule and q will be in coulomb so joule per coulomb is the unit and we know that joule per coulomb is given as the volt v so the unit for the potential is the volt and the expression is V is equal to U by Q naught. Okay. So this is the definition and that is the expression. Okay. And now <coughs> to just to find out uh, the relation between the work done and the potential at a point. How to find the potential at a point? If you want to find the potential at a point. Certainly, we should understand how much work is done in moving the charges from one point to other in the electric field or electrostatic field. So now, in an electric field, so in an electric field, suppose if two points are there, A and B, if you are moving the charges from A to B, so it certainly there will be the change in the potential energy there will be change in the potential energy so how can we relate with this with the change in the potential energy with the work done change in the potential energy is work done so work done in moving the charges from a to b work done in moving the charges from a to b this work is done by electrostatic field electrostatic field esf means it is electro this i will every time i will use like this electrostatic field instead of using every time electrostatic field just i will simply mention it as esf work done in moving the charges from a to b by by the electrostatic field this work is done by the the agent here is esf so now it is the negative change in the potential energies already we have learned this in the earlier session it is a negative change in the potential energies so by by just using this we are going to extract or whatever we want for finding out the potential at a point let us see how it is so now here we understood that it is minus delta u is work done from a to b by electrostatic field so this minus delta u is uh, what I can write like this delta u is equal to shifting the negative sign that side w a to b electrostatic field. What is the change in the potential energies? It is u b minus u a. This is the difference in the potential energies. It is minus delta minus w a to b electrostatic field. So now this is in uh, this here it is in the form of potential energies i want to convert into potential 
already by the definition we come to know potential energy is the potential per unit charge so now ub by q naught some charge similarly here also ua dividing everything with the charge so it is minus w a to b electrostatic field q naught okay so there is no change if you write like this and now after this <coughs> So now UB minus Q naught is VB. Okay. And UA by Q naught is VA is equal to minus W of A minus B electrostatic field by Q naught. So this VB minus VA, this change in the potential energy is negative work done here, negative of W of A to B electrostatic field by Q naught. So what I'm going to do is just interchanging this here VA minus VB there is a meaning why I am going to why I have changed this from this 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 side to that side and that side to this side so here the negative sign goes away so W of A to B electrostatic field by Q naught and this VA minus VB we wrote here this we have interchanged this the reason why I have changed this is VA minus VB is abbreviated as VAB that is the potential between the two points A and B the potential difference between the two points VAB so that's why uh, VA minus VB is abbreviated as VAB so is equal to W A to B Q naught and what is this work Electro work done by this electrostatic field so now we have extracted a relation here VAB is W A to B by Q naught electrostatic force just take a screenshot and copy this pass the video take a screenshot okay now we understood now work done by the electrostatic force how it is related with B A B is W a to B electrostatic force and Q naught. Now I want to go with the work done by the external force, work done by the external force. After understanding this, you can understand that very easily. Already when you are studying about uh, the work done in a gravitational field, if the work is done against the gravitational field, so there we will be taking work as the negative. And similarly, if the work done by the external force in the gravitational field, there the work is done as positive that means these two will be opposite by the field by the external field so if the if the field by the field if it is negative that will be positive external force that will be positive and if the field if it is negative positive that will be negative so that will be quite opposite to you similarly here the same thing will be applied here and now here <coughs> so just i am comparing with electrostatic force the work done by the electrostatic force and the external force so instead of writing external force every time just i will be using you know, this a small uh, rotation for it so now here so already i got it as so it is w of a to b by q naught is minus delta u this is by definition we got it and by the external force w a to b this is by electrostatic force by q naught sorry no q naught is potential energy no so it is not a q naught so it is delta u so if this is negative this will be positive so this is external force right and after this we have just change this to the potential between uh, the potential difference between a and potential and, and b potential difference between a and b and there earlier just before this we just we have drawn an expression that is va to vb is w of a to b electrostatic force by q naught here it is potential energy it is potential so if we got it like this so here if this is positive that will be negative so it is va minus vb is equal to w of a minus b external force q 
Q0 and if this is positive this will be negative okay right now so for this VA B potential difference between A and B this is by external force W A to B electrostatic force by Q naught so here potential difference between A and B if this is positive by external force it will be a negative W A to B external force by Q naught okay right now we want to find the potential at a point potential at a point at a point let it be a so in your earlier class when you are learning about the potential when you are when when you, when you in 10th class there you have learned it like this what is the potential at a point what is the potential at a point the potential at a point is the amount of work done in bringing unit charge from infinity to that point so we have to bring to find the potential at a point here so you have to bring the charge from infinity to this point from infinity to the point so one point is at infinity and one point is the point where you are going to find the potential so this is the case so now here so by understanding this by this definition so we are having two points here that is when you are talking about potential difference between V A and B. So one point I will take it at infinity and the A is the point where you are going to find the potential. So if you are going to take B is at infinity and what is the potential at B? At infinity the potential is taken as 0. So V B is 0 because B is taken at infinity. So V B is 0. So just by using that here, <coughs> just I'm using this V A minus V infinity is equal to A minus infinity. So electrostatic force by Q naught and V A and this becomes 0. It is W A infinity electrostatic force by Q naught. So V A potential at A is W A to infinity electrostatic force by Q naught. So this is the potential at a point. We found it using the work done by the electrostatic force. Now coming to the external force. Because sometimes we deal with the electrostatic force and sometimes we deal with the external force. So using this, so it is V A minus VB is at infinity, it is minus W of A to infinity and it is external force by Q naught and VA minus this becomes 0 minus W A to infinity Q naught and it is external force and it is VA is minus W A to infinity Q naught by this is by the external force. So now we got this as potential at A is so we get if the, this is positive this will be the negative. And uh, again if you want you can, you can go for a small change here the V A if you want to remove this negative side it is W just alter this so it is from A to infinity take it as from infinity to A if you take it from infinity to A you can remove this negative side and Q naught external force okay so this is so these are the equations or expressions what we are going to use for finding the potential at a point by the electrostatic field and by the electrostatic force and by the external force okay so take a screenshot pass the video take a screenshot and copy this Okay, so here is a numerical basing on the concept. It is look at the numerical here. So 
this is a problem. Okay. So it is find the what is the not to find the electric potential at a point A is 20 volt and B is minus 40 volt. Find the work done by an external force, by external force and electrostatic force in moving electron. In moving electron, electron is the charge that is moving slowly from B to A. B to A. So according to the problem, we have to move. And at the same time, keeping whatever we have learned the concept in our mind. Just integrating both. Okay. Right. So now here point A is there according to the problem. Point A is 20 volt and B is minus 40 volt. And where to from where to where the charges are moving? So the, uh, the charge is moving from B to A according to the problem here. So but here, when we are reading, we just we have kept in the mind the concept as when the work done in moving the charge from A to B, A to B, right? So we will take just take this as A and this as B. So this is given in the problem. This is according to our 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 whatever we have kept in our mind. So now, so from A to B, okay? Now we can apply the formula whatever you have learned directly without any confusion. So whatever it is given, it is just write like this and mention it in your terms. Right. Now, what is the charge moving here? The charge is the electron. What is the charged particle? What is the, char the charged particle is electron and the charge is minus 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 group. That is the charge. So now what we have to find work done. So work done. What the concept we can we use here, work done related with the potential difference between the two points. So first we'll go with this external force. So external force means it is uh, what what we have learned there. V A minus V B is equal to uh, it is minus W A to B external force by Q naught. This is what we have learned there. So now, what is VA according to our problem? It is, this is VA that is minus 40 and B it is minus 20. It is minus this we have to find A to B and Q naught is minus 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 90. So minus 40 minus 20, 60. 60 into minus 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 90 is equal to so this is your minus w a to b external force i want this w a to b by the external force this negative is carried over to that side so this is minus of 60 into minus 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 and it is <coughs> so it is uh, 9.6 into 10 to the power of minus 18 so okay, now here it is minus 40 minus 20 it becomes 60 is it 60 volt and this minus 1.6 is carried to this side so 60 into minus 1.6 so this is your answer uh, is like this and so this is minus and this minus is like this here so this minus and minus will cancel it is 9.6 into uh, 10 point again we have to get minus here minus this is minus 40 minus 20 minus 60 so this is carried here so this is minus 60 minus this becomes plus so negative remains here minus 9.6 into 10 to the power of minus 18 joules okay so just be careful with these calculations and now this is the work done by the external force now we have to go with the work done by the electrostatic force so the same process here already you know va minus vb is equal to w of a to b electrostatic force by q naught keep, keep in the mind that 
if this is negative this will be positive if this is positive and this will be negative okay right now according to our assumption this is a and this is b right so minus 40 minus 20 w of a to b by the electrostatic force we have to find and the charge is minus 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 so minus 40 minus 20 minus 60 and this is carried to this side into minus 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 joule so w of a to b electrostatic force this minus minus becomes plus and the product is 9.6 into 10 to the power of minus 18 joule is your work done by the electrostatic force here in this problem now it is very much clear to you that after looking at the answers here look here the charge is moved from from here to here we assume this as a and this is b and here the answer we got in the negative negative value this is by the external force by the external force if the work done is a negative by the electrostatic force the work done will be positive and here after you if you are going to face such a problem if the charge is moving from from one point to other point and we have here if we have to find the work done by the external force and by the work done the electrostatic force no need to go for two calculations you can find either electrostatic force work done by the electrostatic force or work done by the external force if you find one other can be just multiplied with a negative sign you will get the answer so if this is negative that will be positive and if that is positive and this will be negative okay so from this problem we understood how to find when the charge work done when it is when the charge is moved from one point to the other point when work done is moved when the charge is moved from one point to the other point by the electrostatic force and by the external force and one more very important conclusion we can draw from this uh, problem this is a, a, a small uh, pit for your uh, complete exam so here we are moving electron a negatively charged particle from one point to the other point just look at the values here this is at low potential this is at high potential if you are moving a negatively charged particle from low potential to high potential work done by electrostatic force is positive this is a very important point what you have to keep in mind every time we cannot take an example and we cannot solve the problem and finally we can be, we cannot give the answer within that short period of time so just keep in the mind if a negatively charged particle is moved from low potential to high potential then the work done by the electrostatic force is positive similarly if it is given as the positive charge if the, it will be quite opposite if it, that is positive this will be negative if this is negative that will be positive so just store a point in your mind by keeping the problem in your mind if a negatively charged particle is moved from low potential to high potential the work done by electrostatic force is positive just i am i am not writing anything here but by listening to my words just keep in your mind if a negatively charged particle moving from low potential to high potential work done by electrostatic force is positive okay now pause the video take the screenshot we'll go with another problem after understanding the previous problem you can solve this problem very easily this is a problem for your for a board exam okay for board exam we can expect small problems like this from this potential so look here here we want to find the work done by the external force so work done by the external force we have to find by moving a charge charge is 2 micro coulomb 2 into 10 to the power of minus 6 coulomb from infinity to a point from infinity from infinity to a point whose potential is 10 to the power of 4 volt so whatever we have assumed the same thing we will just follow with that until the end whenever we just waste the potential or potential difference we always move from a to b because we have derived the 
uh, we have kept in our mind the expressions like that only. So this is your A and this is your B, right? So now we have to find the work done by the external force. Now uh, here the potentials are given. This is the here potential is given from infinity means here the potential is zero. At infinity, potential is zero. Keep that point in mind. At infinity, the potential is zero. All right. Now VA minus VB is minus W A to B external force by Q naught. Same, very simple expression. Now, uh, by doing the previous problem, you can do it easily. So, now what is VA? It is 10 to the power of 4. What is VB? It is 0. So, minus W A to B, this is by the external force and the charge is 2 into 10 to the power of minus 6. 2 into 10 to the power of minus 6. So now it is 10 to the power of 4. So it is 10 to the power of uh, 4 into 2 into 10 to the power of minus 6 minus W A to B external force. So W A to B, this negative is taken to this side, minus 2 into 10 to the power of minus 2. So okay a very simple problem here okay now just take a pause the video and take the screenshot we'll go for the other concept again okay our next concept is of understanding the earlier concept how to find the potential how to find how to find the amount of work done if you know the potentials now, if you want to find the electric potential due to a point charge Q, that means, suppose charge Q is there, and if you want to find the potential at this point, at this point, what is the potential at this point? How to find? So, if let the distance be R, let us think the distance be R. So, at a distance R, at a point P, what is the potential? How to find? So, we have derived the electric potential from potential energy. So similarly, we can extract an expression for this potential at this point by the same concept. What is how to find the potential energy between Q and Q naught? If the test charge Q naught is kept here, the potential energy of this system is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q Q naught by the distance between them are that we have used that expression and we know that the potential is u by the charge q naught the potential at this point is the potential energy by the charge q naught so now here it is u by q naught means it is u is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q q naught by r by q naught so you q naught cannot go away, so it is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by r. So at this point, the potential due to this point, the potential at this point due to this point is it is no way related with this. So here it is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by r. So it is given like this. So now coming to our concept here. The potential due to this point charge Q at this point at some distance R is V is the potential is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught or you can write as 9 to 10 to the power of 9 when you are doing the problems and it is the charge due to this charge Q and at what distance it is R. So V is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into Q by R. So this is how we can find the electric potential at a point due to a charge, if a single charge is there. This time we cannot find a single charge. There may be group of charges. For example, if you are having the charge Q1, and if you are having charge Q2, and if you are having charge Q3, like this. And if you want to find the potential at, at this point, at this point P, 
So now here, if uh, the potential at this at this point due to charge Q1, we can find due to this charge, it is 1 by 4 by epsilon naught Q1 by the distance is R1. Okay. So due to this, due to this Q1, the potential here is this much. And due to Q2, if it is a distance R, it is 1 by 4 by epsilon naught Q2 by the distance is R2. And by Q3 alone, the potential at P is 1 by, if it is R3, 1 by 4 by epsilon naught Q3 by R3. So if you want to find the potential for a single point, we can go like this. But here the system of charges, the group of charges are there. So how to go with means just it is the scalar. It's, 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 it's a scalar sum. So the potential at this point due to Q1, Q2 and Q3 is the scalar sum of the charges. Okay. So now <coughs> we can go like this. Suppose if in our problems we usually will be facing like this. Suppose if Q1 is there and Q2 is there, Q3 is there and if the point P is there at the same distance R, R, R. So now what is the potential at P due to the system of charges? So 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught is common. Just see here, 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught is common. I can take this, I can pull it out. And the distance R, 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 that is also same. So now the numerator also, the denominator also remains same into 1 by R. So here, what, are, what is remaining here? Q1, Q2 and Q3. That is Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3. If you want to understand it properly, I will write it separately now. 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q1 by R plus 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q2 by R 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q3 by R. So this we can write it like this easily. So now from this I can write like this 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q1, Q2, Q3. This I can write simply as the total charge. The total charge. What the term we use for total charge? It is Q net by R. So V is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q net by R. Okay. So like this we can find the potential due to system of charges. If <coughs> the distance is same, we can go with the formula, with this formula. If the distance is not same, if the distance is not same, just we can go with the, the scalar sum. So here, a problem is given here, a very simple problem. So at, at four points in the corners of a square, the charges are given as plus four micro coulomb minus 4 micro coulomb and it is minus 2 micro coulomb another one is plus 2 micro coulomb what is the potential at the center of this square the center of the square means we let this diagonal split we want to find the potential at that point due to these charges so no need to calculate it you can understand it easily so we already we understood that if the distance is same we can apply because already you know the from here to here and here to here and here to here and here to here the distance is same so now it is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught if the distance is same we can go with the q net by r it is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught what is your q net plus 4 minus 4 minus 2 plus 2 Zero. minus 4 this minus 4 plus 4 minus 2 plus 2 this becomes zero, so your answer is zero. So by looking at the diagram itself, you can easily say if the distance is same and the charges unit will become zero, the potential at that point is zero. Okay. So like this we can understand and we can go with the problem like this. And <coughs> suppose if uh, some other type of uh, one more uh, example is given here, a, a circular ring is given. A circular ring is given and let us take one more ring a circular ring whose diameter is whose, sorry, whose radius is r and let this also be r and on this ring the charge is uniformly distributed 
is uniformly distributed. How much charge is uniformly distributed? Total charge Q is uniformly distributed on this on this disc, on this ring, ring. Sorry, it is a ring, not the disc. And here on this ring, the charge Q is non-uniformly distributed. Distributed. So in these cases, now we have to find the potential at the center of the ring. What is the potential at this point? At the center of the ring. So at the center of the ring, the potential will be due to all these points. Due to all the points. Is it? From all these points, the distance will be same. If the distance is same from all the points, we can apply the formula 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q net by R. So what is the Q net here? The total charge is Q. So it is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q by R. If it is uniformly distributed. And coming to non-uniformly distributed ring. If it is non-uniformly distributed ring, you can answer, I already might have got a thought in your mind. Anyhow, I will explain you. At the center of the uh, ring, so I have to find the potential due to the points here on the ring, which is, whether it is uniformly distributed, or this what we have to do, what, what, what we have to do is the same. We have to find the total charge, net charge, because the distance is same. You go with the same formula. V is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught, 2 net by R. So what is the total charge here also? If it is uniformly distributed or non-uniformly distributed, the total charge is remaining same as Q. So here also it is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught, Q by R. Okay. So this is an important expression, what you have to keep in your mind. So on a ring, on a circular ring, if the charge is uniformly distributed or if it is uniformly distributed, at the center of the at the center of the ring at the center of the ring what is the potential means it is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by r okay pause the video and take the screenshot and we will meet in the next class